Hi guys, welcome to Kids Rugby Online Video Session. We're gonna do some rugby drills, some skills that you can do when you're not at a kids rugby session. Um, I hope you enjoy them, I hope you get something out of it. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with uh, some basic warm-ups. Clay, you ready? We'll start with a, uh, a jog on the spot. Ready to go? Let's go. Okay, now we're gonna go for just a little bit faster, Clay, okay? I'm gonna pump those legs just a little bit quicker, really get the heart rate up. Ready to go, mate? Let's go. Now I can put it in a bit of fend if we want. Get a pass. We're gonna go into a star jump now, okay? So just put the ball down on the ground. Okay, and Okay, the next warm up, okay, is a little bit of side steps so we can put the ball down on the ground, grab anything that you've got at home just to form a little line. If we put it down like that, Clay, and we're gonna go from side to side. So both feet on one side, and then we go side to side. Okay, now we're gonna do a bit of a wrestle warm up. Okay, which you can do inside. We're gonna pop this back over there. I'm gonna sit down on the ground, grasp hold of the ball nice and tight. Okay, Clay's gonna try and get the ball off me. I'm not gonna let him take it easy. And then he's gonna run and score a try before I can get up and catch him. Where you go, Clay. Okay, Clay, we're gonna do some squats now, okay? I'm gonna pick the ball up for me. Okay, we know we sit back down, okay, through our heels, keep a nice straight back, and then we're gonna take the ball out as we go down like this, and then in, out, and then in, out, and then in, out, and then in. Nice straight back. Ready, Clay? Yep. Do a little bit of passing. Okay, so we can do this on our knees to start with, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so you can do this in your lounge on your knees. We then go from our knees to a, to a stand-up pass. Okay, if you are starting outside, you can go straight into a stand-up. So Clay, if you go a couple of meters that way for us, that'll do fine, mate. We kneel down on our knees. Okay, Clay's gonna give me a target. Okay, and he's gonna try and catch the ball in two hands. I'm gonna try and put it out in front of him. I'm then gonna dummy pass that way. Back to Clay, he's got a dummy pass back to me. That way, back to Clay, that way. Back to me, catch it in two hands. Back that way. Okay, but we've come up off our knees and we're gonna pass the ball standing up. Our legs now will play a lot more of a role than you think, okay, because we're stepping into each pass and we're moving back to get behind the ball and forward, okay, so you don't give a forward pass, okay? Cross, cross, move, across, out in front. Yeah, your teammate's gonna give you a, a target to aim at. Okay, ready to go? Ball out in front, pass, ball out in front, pass, ball out in front, pass. Okay, the next passing drill is the next phase of the two drills that we've done for passing. So what we need to do is just have something handy, okay? Anything will do. So if you've got some of these, tees, use those. If you've not got any of those, you could use something like this or a, a top, a t-shirt, a jersey, or anything like that. These are what I'm gonna use, okay? And if you've got some of these, these are perfect. We're gonna put these down 
in a line. And what we're gonna do is draw and pass, okay? Each one of those cones represents a player of the opposition team, okay? So we're gonna to run to that cone, draw and pass to your teammates. Run to the next one, he's gonna pass the ball back. Run to the next one, pass the ball back. Turn, come back to the start, okay? If you've got a little bit more room, sure, stick another cone or two on there, okay? Try and get the ball out in front, okay? Try and catch the ball in two hands. Try and hold the ball in two hands. Okay, try and get the ball away before you reach the cone. Ready to go? Try and get a pass away before the cone. Yes, and pass. Good, and yes, and good. Okay. See why it's important to catch the ball in two hands? Because if we cuddle the ball, we won't be able to get a pass away before we reach the next cone. So it's into the hands, into the hands, two hands, get the ball away nice and quick. Okay? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is keeping Clay running and getting him to pass off both hands. Okay, this is a nice one for mum and dad. You're gonna stand in the middle Okay, gonna pass the ball to Clay, who's gonna pass it back to you, run to the other side and take a pass from that side. He's then gonna pass the ball back to you, take a run to the other side, and so on. Okay, ready? Back to daddy, round you go. Yep, round you go. Okay, so that's gonna help with Clay's fitness, passing off both hands. Also, that actually helps with his peripheral vision because you can start passing the ball slightly earlier than he gets there, which means he's seeing it much later, which is a fantastic trait for, for kids learning, okay, high intensity rugby eventually, okay? Okay, you should be feeling great after that. Really got your eye in with catching and passing. We're just gonna add a little bit of fitness to, to that exercise we've just done. Okay, I'm gonna put this cone, let's say five daddy steps, okay, from where we do the passing. Okay, Clay's gonna do three passes on that side. He's then gonna run around that cone to that side. Do the three passes again. Okay, and repeat the run to the other side. What I want, what, what this is for, okay, is during a match you get more and more fatigued, okay, and it puts more and more pressure on your ability to catch the ball. So this puts you in that position, okay? It'll get harder to concentrate, okay? The more you practice, okay, the better you'll be. Okay, so one, Two, three, four, five. Four, five. Clay, okay, I'm gonna pass you the ball three times, but we use our feet to go back and forward, run around the cone to that side. You ready? After three. Okay, one, move those feet. Two, three, where you go? All the way around that cone. Back to about two meters. One, two, Three, where you go, around that cone. Okay, you'll probably see your child has more difficulty on one side than the other. It's not always the side you think, okay? And when you do find that out, Okay, you can obviously practice on that side a little bit more until they become equally as effective on both sides. Okay, really good exercise, okay, to keep you nice and fit as well. Okay.